cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. For many who lost jobs during the pandemic, gig work became a lifeline to pay bills. But for many people who are new to independent contractor work, they are now getting a big tax surprise when they receive a 1099 tax form for tens of thousands of dollars more than they actually collected. Our investigator Shannon Benkin is here to explain. At first, the number on the tax form is scary. In some cases, it's double what you actually made. But there is good news. There's a way to deduct most of that extra money so you don't pay more taxes than you should. I worked a lot of hours. I did a lot, a lot of driving. When Dwayne Lordage lost his job at the beginning of the pandemic, he did what a lot of people did. Signed up for a gig with a ride-sharing company. In his case, Lyft. Well, I needed to make money because I needed to pay my bills, so it just seemed like a good thing until I decide what I want to do. Driving for Lyft helped him through the hard times until he found another full-time job. But now it's time to file taxes. And for Lordage and other first-time gig workers, it's more complicated than ever. He was stunned to receive a 1099 k form that showed his earnings of $71,945.03. Even though his records show he made just $38,400. I just can't see paying the taxes on, on all of that yeah. when I didn't make it. What happened to Lordich is a new reality for those who aren't used to being an independent contractor. But there's reassuring news. I spent the day talking with Lyft and tax attorneys, and here's what you need to know. Third-party processor companies like Lyft and Uber are required to report all of the income you generated and issue you a 1099-K if you made over $20,000 and did at least 200 transactions. Here's what you need to understand. The gross amount includes taxes and fees the company charged your passengers. In the end, this should not affect the amount you pay in taxes, as long as you remember to deduct all of those fees and commissions. Again, it's up to you to deduct those fees. If you don't, you will find yourself paying taxes on money you did not actually receive. In the case of Lordich, I did the math, and when he deducts all of those fees, he'll end up paying taxes on what he really made. And if you're new to this, I mean, what do you really need to do? I mean, my first instinct is maybe you need to get help and get an accountant involved in this, but what, what what's the best advice you have? Well, first, you need to make sure that you can figure out what all those fees are. In Lyft's case, they have a breakdown on your account on their website. You'll just need to report each of those fees to your tax preparer, and you can do that if you hire someone or if you use something like TurboTax, you can do that yourself. So you can do it, you just have to make sure that you report it because if you just go by that 1099K form like we're used to doing yeah. in most cases, then you're gonna pay taxes on it's it. It's a staggering number, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Shannon.